Hey everybody, welcome back. Looks into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. Okay, I recently had an order for one of the regular cups I sell on Etsy. It is called a Black Opal Twist. I've made it here on the channel a couple times. I will insert a quickie video of me doing that. The customer asked if I could add a little foil and a little glitter, which is not something that's traditionally part of that particular cup style that I sell. They also want it on a 20 skinny straight instead of the 20 ounce twist cup that it's usually on. So I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I figured I'd bring you guys along with me because I am going to use a little bit of foil on this. This is from Artistic Painting Studios. This is just a plain, beautiful gold. Normally I do this particular black opal twist using two layers of Aline's Tacket over and over brushed onto a tumbler first, a black tumbler. But because I'm gonna be using foil in this particular design, just, just a little bit, but I'm gonna go with the stronger foil adhesive. This is Artsyville foil adhesive also from Artistic Artistic Painting Studios. I will link to everything below in the description area. So I am going to put one layer of this on. I already have it mixed with some water in the jar and I will put it aside to dry and then uh, bring you back when it's time to apply the micas, which is the first step. That's all there is to part one. Like I say, I'll put this aside, let it dry for about 45 minutes and then bring you back. And we're back. Okay, the adhesive has dried, and these are the oh, these are the chameleon micas I use. They're all from Woody's Goodies. I have a link to Woody's Goodies below and a discount code if you are inclined. There are, I think, 10 of them. Let's find out. It's the same ones I use every time I make this particular cup. Yep, 10 of them. I will put the list of everything down in the description area. I'm just gonna open these up and basically what I do is I randomly apply them to my tumbler. And when I get it mostly covered with that, then I am going to take some of this beautiful gold Artistic Painting Studios foil, and I'm gonna dab that on the cup. That will be the foil. And the glitter comes from, once I do all of that, I get the cup covered with the micas and the foil. I will put a layer of epoxy resin over the entire thing and into that I will mix in some 504, which is a beautiful opal glitter. It won't cover up any of the colors. It will just sparkle. And maybe if I feel so inclined, I will also sprinkle on a little bit of this slightly bigger cut of another white opal, which is called Rachel's Shebang. Okay, let me clean this up and then we will see if I can get any foils on here. All right, let's see if I've got any sticky left on here that the foil wants to stick to. I may not, but I should. Yep. I actually think that looks beautiful. Maybe, maybe I'll put this up as a new design. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to put one layer of resin on it and I will add in the two glitters I talked to you about, the 504 and the Rachel's Shebang. In fact, I'll do that here on camera. You can see me, you can see what I mean. And then we'll do the outside sunshine shot and then I'll put more resin on it so it's a complete finished cup and I will send it off to my customer. Mm -hmm. 